been um, in the love it and list it or list it mode forever. Uh, seven years, I think we spent basically thinking about, um, all right, kids are gone. Um, we need more room for parties. We love to cook and entertain. And so we actually started looking at other homes and places to go to. Nothing seemed to compare to the area we wanted to stay in. And so it finally became one of those things, okay, it's a forever home, let's stay here. And that's what ended up happening. We decided Nelly deserved to a really, really good kitchen yeah. too. So that's one of the biggies that we were always looking for. It's that a big kitchen so she can cook in. We had contractors come in yeah. that go just knock the wall down or just, we'll just come in and start renovating. They didn't have any rhyme or reason. They, uh, we no had, plans. We had a million, like even in our personal lives, mm -hmm. we have contractors, builders, um, uh, people that do design and all kinds of different things developers. in our developers. I mean, we're talking about high rises. But everything seemed so confusing and daunting and everybody was offering different information and almost conflicting information. And the two of us kind of decided, oh my God, friends and family, probably not a good idea to get them involved. Because I have renovated before in a previous life and it was a disaster. Um, yeah, I had, uh, I tried to oversee it myself because I thought, how tough is that going to be? And, uh, you know, people never showed up, contractors um, overcharged, uh, you name it, and it, what shouldn't have happened, happened. The, the weirdest thing, we never go to the home show, and we went to the home show. And therein lies this amazing booth with these people, like, ready to talk to you. And with everything that looked like a process from step one to step finish. And they were just so pleasant and spoke to us about, you know, all of our concerns and finances and everything else, like right within the home show, which was really weird. And so we walked away with the pamphlet and even in the pamphlet, it had all these questions to consider and things that you should think about when you renovate. Nobody had ever done that to us, like in terms of just objective questions. And so then we talked about it and we thought, oh my God, maybe we should call them and just see what it was like. And sure enough, here we are. Andre is, is very mild-mannered and soft-spoken, easygoing. You know what was funny? I have to admit, and maybe the reality is, he's like one of those uncles that you only see at Christmas, um, but at the same time, you'd be able to call him anytime you needed him. And he was responsive and easy to talk to and always cared about his people and what was going on. And so I kind of find it funny, but he always said it was a family and we kind of thought that was corny at the beginning, but in the end, when we realized everybody that the way they work together and how Andre oversees it all, it was amazing. He's just, yeah, he's an uncle. The thing that I found with Chantal is that she heard me. She got it, like right from the beginning. I dress in black, why? Because I love black. And it was one of those things that we had a conversation over right, right at the beginning. And she just understood my style. She got the look and the feel that I wanted. Um, I almost talked to her about having an industrial restaurant because I didn't want it to look like, you know, there's some people they renovate and their kitchen is a showroom and it's all gorgeous. I needed it to be functional, gorgeous, and at the same time, feeling like anything I wanted to do in it was gonna be possible. So right from the get-go, whether it was colors, fixtures, I mean the lighting that she chose, I had no idea that that was even possible. And sure enough, every little tiny detail that came up, flooring, I wanted concrete, I wanted like craziness. And she was able to accommodate taking me to a place that was unbelievably patient with me when I was going, no, 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 no. And yet Chantella knew that in the end, I was gonna find exactly what I needed. And sure enough, it's exactly the way I wanted it. So she understood me, but more than that, she actually got me. Got me from a sense of how I wanted to feel. And that was most important. And we enjoyed Prosecco every time. <laughs> First of all, you guys let us live here during the renovation, which was huge. I, I understand from a renovator's point of view, you don't want the resident homeowners hanging around your job site uh, for the entire construction. 
but you guys let us live here. And I remember um, Andre saying there was a couple of stipulations and one was which at 7 a.m. the equipment is here and you're starting up and I, I don't care whether you're sleeping in bed or not, it's starting at 7 a.m. And what I loved about it is Adam came and at 7.00 on our <laughs> clock every morning the key would go in the door, open, and he would walk in and start construction. So that was one of the things that I remember that I loved totally about the construction. Their timeliness, coordination, uh, organization. Cleanliness, did you say? Clean too? Oh my God. Yeah. Every time we were shocked at how perfectly clean everything was when they would leave at the end of the day. It was just amazing. But even just how they communicated with one another and everybody was friendly as they came in and and not that fake friendly but the real genuine hellos and all that you know feeling like they were working on their own home that's this the part that we also noticed stuff that they brought up to us mm -hmm. that we would have never thought about or didn't even come across as being something important and then they were pointing it out even some things that we missed and they said oh you need to look at that and we would always think wow like this is as though they're doing it for themselves because it wasn't about just getting the job done and the wonderful surprise that we had was that in spite of the fact that we thought we were going to have a super duper extra expense because of having to put an extra beam in was it or something to that effect yeah and as it turned out when they discovered that it was viable and not necessary, then that became a bonus for us on top of everything else. And just the surprise that, you know, things would go as smoothly as they did from a financial point of view and from a timeline point of view. Like who who does their project on time? Sosna. Absolutely. <laughs> like seriously. Nobody believed us actually. They said, oh, how long did they take? It was always one of those kinds of questions that people would ask us because, you know, everybody always feels skeptical about renovators and that once once they're in, things are going to change or something's going to happen. But in spite of all of the talk on the outside, I'm really glad that we chose what we chose because it just went from a perfect project point of view. I just really believe that. Again, understanding the construction business, what wowed me a lot, was in, especially in the very beginning, was the fact that I saw some, uh, offered a guarantee start time, guarantee end time, guaranteed price, and guaranteed workmanship. And like, you know, thinking about, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, uh, until we were wowed, and then until we started with Sosna, we had that start time guaranteed, they started on time. Um, the um, stop time, they finished actually before. Yeah, their as a matter of fact, yeah. Well, uh, because of that too. Uh, their workmanship, I'm, I'm telling you, the these cabinets were redone because of something that Adam picked up that he wasn't happy with. Not us, but he wasn't happy with. So they came back and resprayed the uh, cabinets. So guaranteed workmanship, checkbox there, and guaranteed price. Uh, they did not go over their budget that they set. So that wowed me a lot, and especially in this industry with construction. There's always little surprises everywhere. And, uh... Is having someone like Adam oversee this? his way of handling his workers, his way of handling us, like treating us like we were family and we treated him like we, he was family, only because there was such care being taken and you really understood that his entire intention was all about making us happy. And he kept asking us the questions and making us feel comfortable. There was not a day that went by that we weren't looking forward to see Adam. I at mean, we 7 a.m. Yeah, at 7 a.m. <laughs> Even though we weren't, well, we were away a number yep. of weeks yep. and stuff like that in between all that. And we would always come back. Oh, and while we were away, he even kept us posted, like yeah. as far as what was happening, or sent a picture about a pro progress piece, or like really treating us like, I know you're not around and all that sort of stuff, but here's what's going on, here's what's happening. And I'm telling you, that guy, anyway, he's still. Wow. Now everybody's going to ask for Adam, yeah. but the whole Sosna group is made up of oh, all of totally. Adams. It's a big yeah. family, so, like and, no matter who you get. And okay. Andre kept saying that we're a family or whatever, and we would go, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> and then there they were, the whole family. It was like cousins, and a, he's an uncle. Yeah. So it was a Christmas party. That's what yeah. was happening. There you yeah. go. Yeah. But seriously, it's it's entertainment bliss. Like we're so proud. Like when people walk in, it's the wow factor. Like they look around and they kind of go, oh my god. 
And then we, you know, it's like we have to spend 20 minutes just letting them kind of view everything because they're enjoying and participating in what our transmi uh, transmission transition has been. And it's a total transformation mm -hmm. because now we actually get to see everybody when they're here and we're enjoying the way that the setup has been. And food tastes better and my cooking is expansive and I don't know, we just love living here, what can I tell you? I'm gonna say do it once and do it right. Do it with Sasana. Seriously, thank you. All right.